Hi, my name is Sarah Clark, and I'm the Associate Director of the C.S. Mott Children's Hospital National Poll on Children's Health at the University of Michigan. As school officials try to preserve funding for their academic programs, funding for extracurricular activities, including school sports, are facing serious cuts. And so we had an opportunity through the National Poll on Children's Health to ask parents across the nation what they're paying for middle and high school sports and how the cost of school sports has impacted their children's participation. So one of the important things that we found was that 61% of the middle and high school kids playing school sports had an athletic participation fee for the school, also called a pay to play fee. Participation in school sports differed based on household income. So if we look at our data here, we can see that in households with incomes over $60,000 a year, slightly over half of the students were participating in middle or high school sports. When you compare that to the households with income of less than $60,000, only 34% were currently participating in school sports. And that's a pretty big difference. For the households that are over $60,000 per year in income, 5% reported a decrease in participation in school sports. And for the households with less than $60,000 in income, 19% reported a decrease in school sports. That's a difference of about four times as much, and that's really significant. School sports offer many benefits to kids. They include increased school achievement, lower dropout rates, better health and reduced rates of childhood obesity, and things like learning teamwork and cooperation. No athletic director, coach, or school official wants kids to be unable to play school sports. We hope this information from the National Poll on Children's Health starts the conversation about how to look at the cost of school sports in a way that ensures that all children have an equal opportunity to participate.